Established in 2274, shortly after the NCR secured Hoover Dam, the camp was set up around a water source, the Forlorn Hope Spring, in an effort to quickly secure the shores of the Colorado River downstream. The haste is evident in the mixture of tents, tin shacks, rubble, and sandbags that make up the Republic's primary camp in the southeastern Mojave. Neglect hamstrung the camp's ability to respond to the Legion's attacks. When Camp Searchlight fell and Legion overran NCR's fledgling outpost at Nelson, Camp Forlorn Hope suddenly found itself on the front line, incapable of effectively securing the shores of the Colorado River or dislodge Dead Sea's garrison from Nelson. Skirmishes in the no-man's land between Nelson slowly deplete the ranks of troops stationed at the camp and the armory. Morale is at an all-time low. The shutdown of the I-15 and Legion raids up and down Highway 95 have strained the supply situation. Water is plentiful, but everything else is in short supply, including food, ammunition, and men. Skirmishes in the no-man's land between Nelson slowly deplete the ranks of troops stationed at the camp and the armory. Morale is at an all-time low, made worse by the Legion's deliberate maiming of soldiers they fight, who are then left to die in the desert sun with booby traps strapped to them. It comes as no surprise that to most soldiers, a posting at Camp Forlorn Hope is effectively a death sentence. The commander of the camp, Major Palatli, blames the ineptitude of the army's highest commanders for the mismanagement of the situation at Forlorn Hope. However, he doesn't plan to sit idle while a legionary comes to slit his throat. He has prepared a plan to turn the situation around, including increasing his troop numbers, restoring supply lines and getting the camp into fighting shape so that he can retake Nelson and secure the army's flank in the inevitable battle for the dam.